Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we are going to have another exclusive interview with a Miss Universe contestant, and today we will be talking with Miss Universe Namibia 2019, Nadia Breitenbach, and she will be joining us right now. Hi! <laughs> Hello! I'm so Good. excited wow. to be on the panel. <laughs> I'm very, very happy to see you as well. And good morning to you there in Namibia. <laughs> you're beautiful. You're very beautiful. And thank you very much as well for allowing me to have this interview with you and getting to know you portion. And of course, for our viewers as well, because as what they have said before, it is very important for us to know more about the ladies because we wanted to show the people that there's so much more to all of you than just beautiful photos. I know yes. you have so much to offer. Yes. I have been following your profile and many photos of you just amazed me, especially your works, which we will be talking about later. Yes. Obviously. So for now, let's begin with you introducing yourself to our viewers. So hello, I'm Nadja Breitenbach and I'm 24 and I studied um, psychology in Cape Town, South Africa. So that's my second home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I did my honours and now my whole life is dedicated to my job as Miss Namibia. Beautiful. And what motivates... <laughs> I'm sorry. I have more to add. <laughs> go, go ahead. Okay. So I also have a very sweet tooth. So I absolutely love baking. It's a very big passion of mine. Um, I have one day someone's going to tell me, you can eat all the sweets in the world for the rest of your life. You're not going to gain weight. You're going to get... I'll be the happiest person. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> of course, that's really the challenge of being a pageant girl. You really have to limit yourself, but after this, you can just go ahead and eat everything. As what Miss Universe 1997 says, Brooke Lee, if there's no rules in the world, she would eat everything <laughs> twice. And that's yes, very exactly. true. Yes, exactly. And what motivated you to join your national pageant this year? And did you expect to win the Miss Universe Namibia title? So it all started in my honors year in Cape Town. I volunteered at a child's home. And I just realized that there's so much more to my job than just sitting in a private practice, helping those that can actually afford mental health, um, something that helps them. And yeah, so it made me think of what I can do. Um, just so how we started all these and it's very hard actually. <laughs> so I went to Facebook the next day, and the first thing that popped up was the Miss Namibia application form. And I was, and I just took it as a sign, and I signed up. Exactly. And, yeah, <laughs> I signed up, and I just took it from there. Did I expect to win? You know, I always believe nobody prepares to fail. You know? Nobody trains to fail. So, of course, I had the belief that I have what it takes to win. But, I mean, the other girls were so amazing. I made sisters for life. <laughs> and they each and every single one of them would have done this job amazing because I'm better than myself. And congratulations for winning the Miss Universe Namibia title. And I truly agree that was really the sign for you to join this year. And of course, you won, which made us all very, very happy. And your country has won Miss Universe in 1992 with Michelle McLean, who also judged Miss Universe 2018 last year. And your last placement was in 2003 with Endapewa Alphonse, who finished in the top 10, I believe, if I remembered correctly. So it's 15 years of non-placement for your country, sadly. This time, how are you, mo I mean, what is your level of motivation to bring Namibia back in the semifinals? You know what, Alvin? I think it's about time. <laughs> exactly, you know, Africa, of course. Yeah, I mean, Africa as a whole is doing so well in pageantry at the moment. And I'm super proud to um, be an African to call myself um, a child from a beautiful soil. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just very excited. You know, more than being myself, more than giving it my all, I can't do but As long as I go in there with the right mindset, giving it my best, 
I'm happy with whatever comes out of it. <laughs> exactly. And even, let's be honest here, Asia Pacific and African region is a real, real yeah. bloodbath of the competition. I mean, of course, we are, I mean, everyone is really doing their best to be at their most mm -hmm. competitive self, but it's always the best ladies that emerge. So I really hope that you will be one of these ladies. And I know you will do your best for your country this year. <laughs> and speaking of being the best, how's your preparation for the pageant so far? Your catwalk, swimsuit presentation, evening gown, selection, and of course the interviews. So my wardrobe for Miss Universe is almost done. And everything is hanging in my closet and I'm looking at it every day and I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> I... And yeah, I'm super excited. I'm sure you are. Yeah, I'm putting in a lot of work. I'm working so, so hard as all the other girls as well. But I think the most important thing for me is to get my, to become mentally strong. Um, to go in there with the right mindset, um, to have my, um, you know, mind game on point. I think I always believe that, you know, people that this will have a strong mind game. That's all. The mindset is right and they have a strong mind. So, yes, that's what I'm focused on at the And I'm really hoping that your preparation is really going well for you, especially that although we have seen the change of Miss Universe with IMG this year, where most ladies, we have really noticed as a pageant follower that most of the ladies that do well in the competition are those with really strong profiles in the competition. But we cannot deny the fact that catwalk still matters. The way you perform in evening gown and swimsuit still matters. So I really hope you could work on that as well and prepare yourself and, of course, be your best self during those rounds of the competition. I'm I'm practicing every single day in my walk. My feet are hurting, but that's what it takes. Um, and I have the best team behind me. I mean, Michelle McLean is the best, best woman I could have wished for to help me in this journey. And she's so supportive and so sweet and so kind. That's really good to know because I was about to ask that because since Miss Universe 1992 Michelle McLean judged last year in Miss Universe, she definitely know how everything works with Miss Universe. She judged during the preliminaries, she judged during the finals, and I was actually about to ask if she's helping you with preparation, and I really wish she will because I really hope, because I really think that she could give a lot of input to you on what to do on what not to do in Miss Universe and I really believe yes. that she could be a great help for you yeah no she's amazing she's absolutely wonderful and she just continuously emphasizes that you know be yourself Nadia that is the best thing that you can do just show them what you have what you stand for and you'll be fine <laughs> And she just tells me yes. to breathe a lot while I walk. Oh, yeah, breathe, breathe. <laughs> no, she's actually, she's such a sweetheart and she's so humble. And I feel very humbled to have the opportunity to work with somebody that knows how, what's, what's going on, on and yeah. Exactly. And I'm really happy that she is working with, with you as well, especially with the organization, because as what you said, it's really about time to bring Namibia back in the semifinals. And yes. For those who are not fo exactly, I truly believe that. And for those who are not following you on Instagram, let me just commend you for the amazing activities and charity works that you've been doing involving children. So could you please tell us something about it, especially for those who are not really following you? At least they will be aware that you are really a hardworking woman with a heart for children. And will it be the advocacy that you'll bring to Miss Universe? Oh, thank you, Alvin, for giving me this opportunity to just share my heart with so many people out there. So, as I said, I worked at a child trauma counseling center, and I just realized that, you know, life is so much more when you give than when you just take it all time. And my heart has always been beating for children, so I can, I'm for Miss Universe, we had some video photos and everything, and I lived through my childhood videos, and I had such a love with my family. There's a part where I was holding Easter eggs that are, like, very brittle, <laughs> the break me. And my cousin started crying, and she was about a few months old. And everything broke, everything broke, and ran up just to make sure she was okay. I've always loved 
ako I'm being paid with them. Especially being so, my national project in Namibia is called Building a Diamond Generation. And it's actually just to show our youngsters out there, our youth out there, that I believe in them. That so many people and I mean, we, we just need to imagine a hard it must be a teenager now in, the, in this day and age. It must be super, super difficult. So I'm just there to tell them, you know, education is so important. Not actually only education, but gaining knowledge. You can go to your granny and ask for knowledge. You can read books. It's so important. So it's just being open to new information, to new worldviews, to new perspectives. And, you know, self-respect and self-love is also very important. Because how can you love any, anybody else if you don't love it? And, have it? and I agree with that. So again, I really commend you for all your works, especially with the children. We are really hoping to see more of that. I mean, it's really amazing to see those beautiful photos of you with those children. I mean, it's very, very inspiring. And you are definitely a great inspiration for young women out there who are really aiming to join Miss Universe someday as well in the future, even for just planning to do charity works as well. Yeah. No, I do hope that I can hopefully take the whole building a diamond generation, making a global, universal. <laughs> so, yeah. And this is the beauty. Of, this is one good thing about beauty pageants because it's not just about beauty anymore because you could use this as a platform to raise your voice out there, to reach a larger audience, which is really good, especially for someone who is as active as you in these charity works. Yeah, and I absolutely love pageantry. I mean, we're all such powerful women, women that know what we stand for, actually just women of substance. That's what pageantry makes women to be. And I'm just super proud to be part of this whole pageantry and to show them especially what we have in you know, advocating for charitable causes and for their country and for the whole universe. <laughs> Yes. And I know you have a heart, a special place in your heart for Michelle McLean, but with the exception of her, who is your favorite Miss Universe and why? Oh, Alvin, it's so hard to choose because I believe that every single one of them who have ever won brought something to the table, brought something special to the table that I can learn from, that everybody can learn from. And it's so hard to compare. You can't compare anybody to anybody else because we're all individuals. We're all special. I really look up to each and every single one of them because now I realize how, how, how what a hard work goes into becoming this universe. And just women that have their dreams and stand for something, advocate for something, it's something to really look up to. And that's what each and every single universe has done. But obviously, I, I, I love Demi because she, <laughs> and she speaks of fans just like me. So we have a lot in common. And then I absolutely love um, Gabriela Isla, 2013. From Venezuela, 2013. Yes. yes. She's also a March baby, just like me. <laughs> and I just, I, I really appreciate that even when she gave the crown away, that she continued her causes and that she continued standing up for what was right and continued to, to you know, to the world out there to make the world a better place and to just share love and compassion. Exactly. That's really the essence of being Miss Universe. Your your being Miss, being Miss Universe doesn't end in your reign because it, exactly. it's the start of everything. And that's beautiful. <laughs> and of course, if, if you could be given, the, uh, I mean, you already have this chance. If you could give a message to those people who will be supporting you in this pageant, what message would it be? First and foremost, thank you so much for supporting me, for all the beautiful messages. I mean, it helps so much, especially with the mental game, if I receive beautiful messages that motivate me. And if I could share one message, it is to, you know, we all have a story. Every single individual has a story to tell. Listen to their story. Learn about their story. Grow from it. And, um, you know, I always believe that we are one one species, we're all human. So let's start building each other up instead of breaking one another down because that makes us only stronger. 
and let's start a ripple effect. Let's just, put, you know, one person starts it and it's just going to continue. And then until the whole world is, or until, until like a lot of people realize that, you know, I have Thank you, thank you very much. And you know what? This is this is actually something that we do not see as followers of the pageant. I mean, this interview is such a wonderful, wonderful moment for me and for all of us who will be watching this because this is one way of knowing more about you. And I'm really happy for this interview with you. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity and to spread the message of let's love one another, let's share love, you know, and building one another instead of breaking one another down. Exactly. So thank you very much for giving us this time. And as usual, I will be also asking one request. Yes. <laughs> Could you please give us a sample introduction for Miss Universe, your name and then your country's name. We would love to hear that. Nadja Breitenbach. Namibia. Oh, thank you very much. So again, thank, thank you, thank you very much for giving us this time talking with you and hopefully you will do your best in bringing back Namibia in the semi-finals and we will be cheering you all the way until the finals of the Miss Universe 2019 pageant. And we wish you all the best and hope you enjoy the amazing experience. Thank you, thank you all so much. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs> you two have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful journey for Miss Universe ahead. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. You. Talk Bye. to you soon. So thank you very much. That was my exclusive interview with Miss Universe Namibia 2019, Nadia Breitenbach. So I will be uploading the entire interview again on my YouTube channel. So for those who will not be able to see this, we'll be able to know more about Nadia. And she is an amazing, amazing woman. Again, as usual, I am impressed again, because as what they have said, this is one thing that we really do not see from these contestants, as how amazing they are, as how intelligent they on everybody's list after this interview because she is beautiful she is smart she's inspiring and she is amazing this sunday i will be having an interview i will not be naming it yet but it's someone from asia pacific and i'm really excited for it so again thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the philippines